या छी साधु रूपे बोले सर्वज्ञान से रूपा कृपा मीने युग दक्षरण आई हर्ड इट told from the lips of sadhus they all say by shri rupa's mercy one can attain shri rupa das lotus aha prabhu sanatan gora paribara sare mili vancha purne koro opa mat o sanatana prabhu O personal associate of Gauranga, all of you together, please satisfy all my heart's desires. Shri Rupera Kripa Jana, Amma Prati Haya, Se Pada Ashraya Jana, Se Mahashaya. Let the mercy of Shri Rupa be upon me. Whoever takes shelter of his lotus feet is Mahashaya, a great personality. Prabhu Loka Nata Kavi Shanga Loya Jame Shri Rubera Parabhatma Mole Samarpiya. When will my holy master Lokanath Swami, who is the master of the whole world, take me with him and offer me at the lotus feet? of Shri Rupa Manjari. Eno ki hoi bimora nama shaki dhani anugata narotama koribesha shani. Will it ever happen to me that Radha's dear most nama shakis will give direct instruction to Narottam and accept him as their faithful You see, Sri Rupa is the emblem, the centerpiece, the maximum of Guru Tattva. He represents those teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu which were given to him personally. And he holds a card a cardinal position in our Sampradaya. That's why we are aspiring to become Rupanugas. Narthan Dastaku is praying to Sri Rupa, giving full recognition to Sri Lokanath Goswami, his personal spiritual master, and requesting, when will my beloved spiritual master offer me to the lotus feet of Sri Rupa? It's all very, it's very peculiar. Like, we always want to be the servant of the servant of the servant, but um, We feel this is good for us. But at the same time, we want to be with Prabhupada. So like if somebody says to his guru today, when will you take me to Sri Sri Prabhupada? No. It's a little bit similar to that prayer. Because Prabhupada is like an outstanding star in the horizon of the spiritual teachers in this world. But the star, the sun, he's better a sun than a star. He's an arising sun. And we all feel it, we are connected to him. Everything is done by his mercy, but still meeting a person. If I tell my disciples, or those who consider me their spiritual master. I'm actually their servant. 
You know, I tell them, come on, we go and, come and, go and see Brown Park today. Gee, I want to see how they're jumping. Huh? <laughs> they'll be jumping. Wow. You want to see Brown Park. So, so therefore we offer all our friends who have come to our life to see the Brown Park. There's nothing else, nothing better we can do. <clears throat> because we are so lucky that we were connected with the sun. Amongst the many spiritual teachers, we were connected to the sun. And the sun is so warm and comforting and everything. So, here is the sun of love. So this is what we... Gather from Shrivanarita with this Dakos prayer. Now this is also a temple which was started in the service of Shrivanarita with Dako by the Manipuri Rani, who is all the Manipuris were disciples of Narita with Dako practically. Narita with Dako was the son of Mayapur, of Manipur, of those days. Not only that, he's still a son. We talk, we say Narita Mdastaka, it's almost like saying Rupa Goswami, you know. It's a top, top quality Vindavan, uh, or a spiritual realization of the Nitya Swarupa, of the soul with the Lord. So, longing. Here we have one subject which comes to our attention. This is the face in the spiritual master. Face in the spiritual master is a special gift we receive in our life. That gift gives us life, enthusiasm, strength. The spiritual master as Prabhupada said, is like Rupa Goswami on the top level, but it's also something we all should accept, that we have to become like spiritual masters. It's an order by Mahabharata. Prabhupada wrote in his own writing, said, by 1975, I wish all my spiritual students to have become spiritual masters. I joined in 71, 72. So, three years later, I was supposed to become a spiritual master. <laughs> how, how is that? But this is what he said. So what does it mean? It means that we have to become so wonderful people that people can take shelter of us and receive this son of Prabhupada. I don't think Prabhupada was in the illusion that by 1975 all his devotees were pure devotees. I don't think he was in such a mega illusion. Or what does he mean? Like, Guru, when there's a Charya Mambijani Yam, the shloka, where Krishna says, I am the Guru. The moment that shloka comes from is not like speaking about the famous one and only Sadguru. No, it's talking about the, the husband is the guru of the family, the teacher to be the guru of the student. It's, you know, it's not bringing down Guru Tattva. No. It is rising us up to Guru Tattva. That we should connect with the highest teaching of Prabhupada, the this, this son of divine, and do our best to give this to others. That's what I understand from 
because Rupa Goswami and his Nitya Lila or his Nitya Sambandha as Rupa Manjari is such a celebrated relationship to Sri Radhika. But it's not that we say everybody is becoming a Manjari. Well, if Rupa Goswami wants to call them, that's also possible, right? He has the power and the right to call somebody into his service field. But like Srila Prabhupada, we don't even know. He's a Manjari, he's a, he's a confidential Shaka, Priya Dharma Shaka. We don't know. Some devotees started fighting about that. Really like oh, we were fighting, fighting. <laughs> My way is right, yours not right. I never I never entertained such feelings. Because it will be revealed when it's the time for us to know. How are you gonna enter into it with a mental intellectual assessment? But he said this here. No, no, but he wrote this there. These may be hints for lovers of him to feel comfortable and approaching this realm. There's no way that those hints can be reasons for arguments and fights. No. And some gurus, they may say, like Srila Bhakti Daita Mahamaj, such a big movement of all India. But nobody talks about his Manjari form. It's not that they didn't have those informations, but nobody talks about his Manjari form. So, The realms of the higher ups, they are <coughs> divine realities. And a divine reality is what you have to worry about the divine reality. A divine reality is a divine reality and your intellectual assessments <coughs> will not do anything to divine reality. Neither will they add nor subtract anything from a divine reality. So whether you can understand it and reach there yourself, that is up to the divine reality. And that divine reality is very merciful and very, uh, very kind to us. So that's why they engage us in devotional service and preaching and everything. You know? But this excellent position of the intimate servant of Sri Radha in the form of Rupa Goswami, in the group of divine service. These excellent gopis like Lalita and Vishaka, their respective servitors, those wonderful personality of Brinda Devi, an expansion of Sri Radha, who engages her shakis, her, her, her main servants in the devotional service, such as, hey, stop this. Uh, who engage others in service. That is so extraordinary, unbelievable. How can there be anything as sweet as the divine reality? We worship divine reality. Divine reality is beyond minimization and relativization. If you minimize and relativize, oh my God, are you going to do that with Rupa Goswami? Are you going to do that with Radharani also? It's 
So it's very primitive. Divine reality we worship, we keep it on top of our head and that's it. And whoever and whatever we pertains to this divine reality, it all, all kept on our head. I know Prabhupada, my Guru Dev, he has a position in the divine reality. So why is that not propagated clearly? Because it's not meant to be. It's not that Baba Ji is in Radha Buddha, they know the divine reality and they can reveal it, but uh, Prabhupada didn't and Keshava Maharaj didn't and this one and that one, they all don't. But they spread Krishna consciousness all over, whereas the Baba Ji said, we're just sitting there doing nothing in a sense. Uh, so this is, it doesn't make any sense, does it? So do not allow your mind to minimize or to relativize divine realities. Just give them a bit. Just worship them and chant Hare Krishna and be happy. That is at least what I understand is the solution. Because fools, angels, what was that famous saying? Fools rush where angels fear to tread. That is the, the Srila Guru Bhakti Lakakshina Maharaj's warning. Yes, some people will be there in the divine reality. Of course, the divine reality is full of people. But those who are there, they are meant to be there. That's the time. They were called there when it was time for them to be there. So, the divine principle of Srila Rupa Manjari, which we did get from our scriptures and from our Acharyas transmitted, it is there for us to know that such a realm exists. And we should keep it in our heart, in our face. Ooh, incredible! There exist the, man, the Shakis and Manjaris and Radhika and Divine Seva to so Krishna and Vindavan in his Nitya Lila. Wow! And I do aspire to one day serve there. That's good. That's safe. Hmm? But if you start thinking, does this guy already pertain, pertain to this Leela or not? No, look, he gets late. He doesn't come from Mangal Arti. I don't think he can pertain to this Leela. <laughs> like that, you know, this, it doesn't work. It's, it's harmful. It's harmful for us. That's why I say minimize or relativize. Because especially amongst the God Brother sections, but not only that, you cannot. How many people relativize Srila Prabhupada by not being his direct lover? The whole world has food. How many people relativize Bhakti Vilas Chintamach? How many people relativize Bhakti Kivala of the Lodi Maharaj? How many people really? It's like it's a very prominent thing to relativize. But it's not our business to relativize. Prabhupada said, I can even criticize one of my godbrothers, but you can. He said that. You heard that? So what does that mean? You cannot relativize those who are approaching the higher. Whether they reached or didn't reach, that is a different subject. But those who are going on that way, we don't relativize. What do we know what realization Guru Deva told? We may never know, but that he is approaching that realm, that's for sure. There's no, no question about it. How is he approaching that realm? Wonderfully. And Bhakti Vai Bhakti Maharaj. And Bhakti Balantirta Maharaj. Did they approach that realm? Well, most likely they reached it. There are such extraordinary Vaishnavas did such extraordinary things in life. Most probably they already reached it and that's it. Haribo. 
But if they didn't reach it, we still worship them because they pointed out the way. If they are not in their manjari form or whatever form Krishna needs them, if they haven't reached that level, well, maybe they are still on the way. Okay. But they showed us the way. So this is my point. My very important point on the basis of Srila Narutanda's Thakur song. Yes, when will my Guru take me to the higher reality, to the higher Vaishnavas? So in this way, it's the, the, the prayer to the Guru by the disciple and it is the prayer of the Guru to his Guru that his disciples may become those who enter there. There's a saying that the father wants his children to make more advancement than he himself. Father wants to see that his children reach, accomplish more than he himself. So, that is the spirit of love. Hmm? You go first, you go first. So the Guru is the, is the servant of his disciples. That is undoubtedly because he's teaching them, he's, he's with them, he's available to them all the time. So therefore, when Srila Rupa Goswami gives us his mercy by being established as the emblem of the Acharya's goals, that is wonderful because that means we know where we are heading. We know what is the final goal for us to achieve. We know it. It is so blissful. It is so beautiful. We know the goal. We can think about it. We can glorify it. We can dream about it. When we chant our java every day, we can contemplate the divine reality. So we have a meditation access to it, a reading access. The divine reality has come down to our perception, but not to our understanding and realization unless we reach there. Even if I say you're not this body, it's so beautiful, and you go, yeah, yeah, great. But the next moment you forget it. And you go, oh, my pain, my pain, my back. Huh? You may think that the body is more important than the soul. such a wonderful thing to have a divine reality and have heard about it. Yes, we don't realize it, but we have heard about it. Hmm? Isn't it nice? A divine realm of eternal devotional service where everybody wants to be the servant of the servant of the servant, where everybody thinks everybody else is a servant and a, and a pure devotee, but they not. When Sri Mata Radharani thinks everybody is a devotee except her. I mean, these are the divine realities described by the Acharyas. You see, that's the descriptions of the quality and feeling of Radharani. What can you say about it? Is there anything you can, you can add or subtract? Of course not, because it's a divine reality and you're not there yet. Just like if I tell you, when you come to Colombia, it's fantastic. The temple is beautiful, it's very nice and holy, it's very wonderful. 
and, and, and I tell you all about the glories of the Lord. But until you go there, you will not know what it's like. My words give you a hint. They give you a hint and you may be, feel very attracted. You may say, I'll go to Colombia. <clears throat> but still you have to reach there and be there to actually know what it's like. If that is applicable to such an ordinary thing as going to Colombia, how much is it applicable to the spiritual world and the spiritual eternal relationship of the souls with God? I mean, even the fact that Brother Rani and Krishna are always so lovely together, what can we understand about that? Like some people say, is that a sexual relationship? Could not be in the divine. It's beyond our mind. We cannot, we cannot think it. And we're not supposed to think it either. We just support, support to, the, to worship the divine couple. And we can also say they are the supreme father-mother principle. So well, what is the Supreme Mother Father Principle? What do I know? I only know my mother. <laughs> and she was very lovely. <laughs> huh? and, and I came into existence by her connection with my father. So if I call if I talk about the divine mother father principle, what what point do I have of access to understand anything? Well, I we think about my father and mother, right? My father and mother, the divine father and mother, and they are also a couple. Hmm? But we didn't come from Radharani womb. So, it's something different, right? The spiritual level, the spiritual love, the spiritual union, it's something different. Because we are all the sons and daughters of Radha and Krishna, Lakshmi Narayan. At least that's how the Acharyas have preached about it. Like Robert often said, Lord Jesus, is the son of God? He would say yes, but we are all sons and daughters of God. So he would always say that, I'm a son of God, you're a son of God, for God's sake. So that means Father, Father God, Mother Divine, some other they brought me into existence. Whether it was through a sexual intercourse or whether it was a divine view or whether it was through a mantra or whatever way they wanted to choose to make this little jiva come into motion. What do I care? What do I need to know? The scriptures do not give chronological description. The scriptures purposefully keep behind the veil certain things. Even whether you are part of Brahman or you are part of Goloka Vendam, there is a whale. You cannot see it, you cannot just rip off and open the whale and ah, that's the way it is and you didn't want to show it to me, you kept the whale. No, Krishna keeps the whale so that free will is a real reality. You want to be with, with Krishna, then long for it. The longing in Bhakti Yoga is such an important thing. It's called Laulia. To long for love, to long for the company of your beloved. That's divine. And you can also long for the association of the devotees. You guys, you can long for the company of Prabhupada. And that longing is totally blessed. It is a very wonderful longing. I want to be with Prabhupada. I want to meet Shri Prabhupada. When will my Guru Dev come and take me, offer me to Prabhupada? This is a natural desire. Nothing wrong with that. 
Otherwise, how can our Tamna Staka write it? Uh, when will come Lokanat Goswami offer me to the feet of Rupa? This is the, this is like we, we can say the example. He sets the example for the divine. For the divine connection with the highest reality. I'm so happy that I read this song this morning. It makes things so clear, glass clear, crystal clear, diamond clear. That there's a divine reality. We aspire to go there by the Lord's sweet will when He wishes so. And we should accept the Guru and become a Guru to teach people in this direction. Because if we don't become gurus, what does it mean guru? Guru means he repeats what he has heard, what he believes, and he tries to live according to those principles. That is a guru. Acharyam Ambijanyam. So many shlokas of guru tattva. Plenty. Plenty, plenty of shlokas. Explaining the auspiciousness and importance of a spiritual master. And in our society people are not clear about spiritual mastership. They are rather afraid. Why? I tell you. Because they have not embraced the divine reality as a supreme real substance to reach to. And therefore, they don't believe that there's a divine reality, then who's going to teach about anything? Hmm? If there is no divine reality, and then somebody comes, I think you should all do this, you should all do that. No, I'm going to do what this guy says. We have so many false authorities in this world. Usually they don't claim to be spiritual authorities, but sometimes they do. How many of these kings, like the king of Japan, was considered to be God on earth for the Japanese? So, a spiritual key guy, a spiritual leader, what he says is absolute. Yeah, what? It's absolute if it, re if it teaches you to reach to the absolute. The higher, the divine reality underlying principle of all. There's an underlying principle, just like there's an underlying space. Oh my God, the underlying space, the underlying time, and then the under time, underlying feeling. That's why sometimes they say lost in space. You get easily lost in space. We cannot even hack the space of Vrindavan. What to speak of the space of India or the space of this this Bhumimat. In a way we are all lost in space. Only Guru puts us into our place to reach beyond time and space. He situates us in our place to envision time and space, go beyond it and reach the divine reality. That's what the Guru does. If I speak about these high realities, it's because I have gotten that license from Prabhupada, that order. He told me, first time I met him, he said, spend the rest of your life 
giving to others what I am giving to you. So what about this divine space? What about this higher reality? That Goloka Vindama? Where is it? Well, it has come down in the form of Gokul. That's why people love to be in Vindavan and say Jai Radhi, Jai Radhi, and eat Prashadam and do many other beautiful things. Hmm? <laughs> because this is a reality. It's, it's what kind of reality? Well, it's a reality which you are perceiving by the grace of Shri Gokul, Goloka Vindavan, the eternal space, beyond time and space. That realm is very, very, very close to you when you chant Hare Krishna. Because Goloka Vindam is there where Radha and Krishna roam. Wherever there are, this Goloka Vindam, wherever Mahaprabhu is, this Goloka Vindam. Wherever the Panchatantra moves around, this Goloka Vindam. And wherever the devotees start working for Krishna, it is becoming a representation place of Goloka Vindam. Just like it says in the Bible, and it says in the Bhagavatam, where the Lord says, I'm there where my devotees talk about me. He says, I'm not in the heart of the yogis. I'm not in the celestial kingdoms. I don't exactly remember the verse. I'm there where my devotees talk about me. And that's why I'm and says, where is she who is full of prema, all glories to Sri Radha. The song on the life goal of Srila Raghunanda Goswami. Srila Gorki Shodas Babaji Maharaj. I don't know what the name of Gorki Shodas Babaji Maharaj means here. Looks like he's the author. Could that be a song of Gokishar's Babaji Maharaj? Oh Radha, please give me your darshan and save my life. Your wretched beggar calls out to you. Radhi, Radhi. Oh Radha, you enjoy pleasure pastimes in the forest of Vindavan, wherein you enchant the mind of Krishna. O oh, Radha, you are the crest jewel among your eight principal shakis. O oh, Radha, daughter of Vishabhanu Baba. Raghunanda Goswami was always calling God Radhe, Radhe. Sometimes at Keshigat, sometimes at Vangsivat, sometimes in Niduvan, sometimes in Sevakunda. That means Our Raghunathas Goswami was walking around this area, right here where we are, on Sivad Keshi Gad, and he was calling, Radhi, 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 Radhi. Sweet, huh? Imagine Raghunathas Goswami. Sometimes in Nidhuvan, sometimes in Sivakunja, sometimes in Radhakunja. Sometimes in Shiva. Sometimes in Kushum Sarova, sometimes in Giriraj Govardhan, 
sometimes in Talaman, sometimes in Tamalwan. Raghunath Das wears simple clothes, which appears to be dirty because he's always rolling on the earth, crying out, Radhe Radhe. Raghunath Das calling out Radhe Radhe, his eyes are bursting with flood of tears. He wanders throughout the lanes of Vindaman and crying out, Radhe Radhe. He knows nothing but Radha Govinda throughout day and night. Radhe Radhe. He takes rest only for four dandas. One hour thirty-six minutes. At that time, in his dreams, he receives darsha of Radha. Well, that's another one, huh? Who That prepares you into the practice. This gentleman, this Vaishnava, he's Radha, he's Radha mad. All he does is call Radha, 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 Radha. All over Vrindavan, Kusum Sarova, Govardhan, he's Radha, Radha, where's my Radha? That's a very confidential call. He's not calling it to the public to make a show. He's actually calling for Radha's mercy. He has gone into the depth of this mercy which he has received. I've seen people trying to imitate that. I've seen that. That didn't work. You can't imitate Radha that's well. Huh? You can imagine one of you going out of the temple, never coming back, and just roaming around and down and going, Radhe, Radhe. And say, where's this purple boy somewhere chanting Radhe, Radhe? Huh? It's, it's not possible, it's not real. But for Raghunath Goswami, that is his reality. That is where he is at. So it shows us that we are worshipping the Lord in separation, and then the others come. No, I'm just now contemplating the Radha Krishna Leela in my mind. Yeah. You, you know how to do that. Yeah. But what the Raghunath Goswami is our example, is our guru. He is showing that everything is there in the world of I also cry like this. Honduras, Honduras. When are you going to get Krishna? Nicaragua, Nicaragua, there's no preaching going on. San Salvador, no Salvador. Where is the Krishna Vakta there? Panama, what's happening to you? Belize, Guyana. Where is the Krishna Bhakti there? Where is Prabhupada? That's a little bit my. <laughs> my uh, level of perception, no? Sankitan devotee, aspiring. So I'm also longing, but I cannot say long for rather, rather, this is, this would be totally artificial. But I like to greet in the dumb, hey, Radhe Radhe. Ah, Radhe Radhe. <laughs> it comforts your heart, but hey, we are not that conscious and we are not that longing that we start crying and tears bursting from our eyes when we when we say Radhe Radhe. It's not real. If that won't be real, well, real is real, no? Real doesn't need purport. If you're sick, really sick, that's real. So then you need a, a doctor, somebody to help you. <coughs> Sometimes in Vrindavan they advertise, oh, this Baba is very old, 100 years, and he's always chanting. And you say, wow, oh, he must be really, really something. <coughs> but you don't. 
don't judge it. You, you don't know these things like that. There is a call <coughs> to sing a song. Thank you, Prabhupada. Jai Nitai, Jai Nitai, Jai Nitai. 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 Jai Nitai.